guys, look what I found. <laughs> I finally found another character and he is a 120. My God, I've had like two characters at all spawn since the failed character taming episode and they were both level five or level 10. And I finally got a 120. Ah, right. So I was originally planning on doing uh, something very different for today's episode, but I need to get the character. Now, the tricky thing is that this is not the most, uh, well, actually, right. So this is not a very good terrain to um, try and tame it in. I've learned my lesson. I've looked up tutorials or found one really good tutorial to do a much better job of this. And I'm going to need a big flatter area, which I think all the way over there will do. Now, hopefully, I can kite the character all the way over there without dying myself. That'd be really fun. Oh, I need stamina. <laughs> that would have been really, really catastrophic. Yes, I need stamina. I had to grab some bait in the form of the Megaloceros in the trees right in front of me and kite it all the way to flat land. You absolute muppet. Just, just hit it. Just, just get it. Just attack it. What are you doing? You can do it. I believe in you. You can do it. Go on. Of course I had to get the stupid one, eh? Oh, there we go. He got it. You did it. And now you're following me. Hmm. Now that is a predicament. I have no idea what a destroyer is. So what happens when a high progressive carcher attacks a destroyer? Oh dear, I... I'm kind of scared to find that one out. So I've got no idea where it is. So I saw it on the way back here, like I didn't saw the message. And no idea what it actually is. I'm going to detour to the right a bit. Oh my god, just look at it coming out of the trees. Oh, I was kind of hoping it would yeet forward. Ah, oh, don't they just look so cool? Honestly, they did such a good job designing these. And it is totally fixated on me. It is ignoring everything else. This is fantastic. This is making, like, hunting it really so much easier. Oh, never mind. Ah! God, that scared me. And remarkably did not kill the Megaloceros. Great! <laughs> not gonna complain. Oh! And a second time. Oh my god, just look at his glowing eyes. Oh no, now the sharks are going on it. But thankfully he's ignoring the sharks, which is great, because it means it will just carry on following me and get out of the water. <laughs> it looks so cool. Okay, so we made it all the way to the other side to this flat area over here. Just waiting for it to finish its work. Come back to me. Nope, it's still going. I think over there would be a good spot. Oh no, I lost it. <laughs> well, the Megaloceros definitely tanked a couple of hits well, but uh, can't tank them all. I do need stamina though. I'm really hoping it won't come for me while I get stamina. Okay, this seems like a good and safe area. And uh, more important, I'm away from the Alpha Carno. So, I'm going to let the culture wander for a little bit then, and I'm going to get started on the trap. Which I think around here will be good. Not quite near any of the uh, Arctic dangers, and otherwise should be a relatively safe area. So, for this trap, I'm going to use one large behemoth gateway, followed by... Are you right behind me? No, it's just a parasaur just being really loud. I thought I could hear the uh, the character just like running towards me. Right, anyway, so uh, yeah, as I was gonna say then, uh, I'm gonna use some behemoth or one behemoth and a bunch of regular gateways. So I've just used four regular gateways there with a couple of um, bear traps. Uh, what I'll do next then, so I'll chuck that back there, get my behemoth door, um, place a couple of sleeping bags just in case. Let's do one and two. And let's go find some prey. Perhaps the parasol has scared me. Seems like a good target. And go and get the creature's attention. Hey friend, wanna get a parasol? Oh, yes you do, yes you do. Right, thankfully, I can hear it very clearly right behind me, trying to check just in case. Hopefully we won't get stuck in any trees. Oh, you're very, very close. And uh, let's get you, oh no, 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 damn it. Thankfully these things have a really sharp turning radius, not like a Giga where, uh, you know, mucking up the angle is the worst thing ever. This should be, should be <laughs> relatively straightforward. Okay, just waiting for it to finish. No, we'll just angle it a little bit tighter. Yeah, one mate. You know you want the parasaur. <gasps> yep. There we go. And done. So now what I'll do... Oh! 
Are you immune? No, you're just spinning wildly. Okay then, so while it's spinning, what? That is, okay, I, I really should do the rest of the trap, but I kind of need to see this. <laughs> well, that was certainly something. So it should, in theory, be perfectly uh, stuck there. I really should have taken the opportunity to put down the rest of the gates. I'm gonna try quickly. Hopefully it can't hit me through that. So one here, one there. And that should be enough. Oh, yes, there we go. So now, now it's the fun part. Oh God, I just don't feel safe doing this right next to it. Ha, ah, I really don't feel safe doing this right next to it. Okay, we'll just set you on passive first of all. Um, I'm gonna go ahead then and just put down all of these. We're gonna see why in a moment. Set all these alight, although in hindsight I probably should have done it in a different angle, but who cares? And now that I've got all that ready, um, I brought Rectex. <laughs> I have all the spare Rectex anyway. May as well use the Rectex for this. Uh, just kind of hoping it works here. So, we'll go ahead and do that. Hatch you up, immediately kill you. Um, too immediately, apparently. We've got to give it a while to, like, you know, register existence before I kill it. Which is uh, actually really harsh. Okay, so five, four, three, two, one. Okay, it worked this time. And I can't. Oh, ooh, ooh, lag. Can I drag it? I can drag it. And it immediately got its attention. This is what I'm hoping for. Now, how much is that going to give you? Oh, ow. That's a little bit of damage. But it gave you. Oh, all the way. Okay, okay, okay. This is that was really, really good. Okay, so I'm not sure how many match gonna require for this. But now what I can do. Oh, I would really rather hatch them over there. What I don't wanna do is uh to um, get it outside of the gate. In fact, I've done it horribly wrong. The entire point of the two sides of the gate is so that you can hatch them on the other sides. And I obviously forgot that. Okay, this is fine then. Let's go ahead then. I'm learning, I'm experimenting. This is the first time doing anything like this. This is a little bit longer than intended, and you're definitely running out of your buff. So I chuck you there, chuck you there, and obviously, you know, I wanted to skip the whole unclaimed part to take a little bit longer, but it's fine though, it's really not the end of the world at all. I'll do this, I'll do this. Now what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to like open the gates, clatter it to the other side, close it, etc, etc. But uh, thanks to S+, I'm just gonna like keep picking up and repacing it. Do that. So I should now be able to just get on you. No, you killed him! Damn it! <laughs> it already killed them all. A mm, little bit scuffed. Just just a little bit scuffed. Okay, this is fine, because now I know what to actually do. So, first of all, is it enough? Yep, that's enough. Good. Let's get a couple more little Rex babies. And do all this. That should be a good healthy amount. Right then, so we've got all those little baby eggs, or baby <laughs> Rexes. Now I can ride you, turn around, open the gate, and manually kill them with the carcher. It should have been enough time by now where the Rex is registered as, exi as uh, existing. And that gave barely anything. Right. I mean, something? Ooh. I should probably hurry up then and kill a few things. Oh, God. That really wasn't very good at all, was it? Okay, this is fine then. This is fine. What I'll do instead, I'm going to leave my Argentavis over here for a bit. I've opened up the backside of the trap. And I will even take this away. And I'm just going to keep it on the timer. So the thing about high level characters is that after a while, it will kick you off. Now, I'm not sure if the same is going to apply here. But I don't have much time anyway. So at the very least, I can look at the timer. I'm not really planning or aiming to have a perfect tame. It'd be nice if I got one, but I can't expect to get one. So if anything does go a little bit dodgy, then that's going to be okay, to be honest. Now, the absolute best way to do this is to get uh, imprinted health-leveled Diplos. And any of you who've been watching me for a while will know how I feel about that. <laughs> Basically, the more health the creature has, the better the tame. And uh, killing things like Dodos right now isn't exactly the most beneficial, but it's something. But uh, let's get out of the way, then. I suspect I'll run out the timer before um, before it bucks me off. So in that time, I can bring it into the trap safely, manually myself. Okay, I'm so curious. This might be a really dumb idea, but I'm so, so curious. Alpha Kano? I mean, could I? Let's go ahead and just finish off this Anki quickly. Oh, then again, though, damage taken will reduce the effectiveness. But again, though, I mean, it's the first one, right? I'm not really aiming for perfect timing effectiveness on this. Uh, maybe I shouldn't. I don't think I should. I think I should just leave it. <laughs> it feels like trapped and secure. Then yeah, maybe. 
What level is the Alpha Carno anyway? It's level 55, 16k health. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's best not to. Okay, so I didn't quite get as much taming as I'd really hoped for in that one go, but it's okay though, because now I can bring it all the way back in here. Uh, close it with the gateway. Hold on. Right there. And safely dismount, and we are totally fine. Ow, just, you know, breaking my ankles again. So yeah, that'd be fine then. It's gonna time out quite safely. I can get uh, another Rex prepared in the meanwhile, which we now know uh, basically one-shots them. Or, you know, like, one-shot befriends them, essentially. And then I could try the whole thing again. Now, the tricky thing is, though, is I don't have quite as many uh, wild dinos nearby. I really think I should go for that, Carno. Oh, no way! Did it run out? It escaped! <laughs> okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Of all the things for the Alpha Carno to attack, it kites a legendary Kentro into the water. Um, now, that's like kind of good and bad, because on the one hand, it's going to help do damage for me, but on the other hand, it's uh, it's a Kentro. I don't want a Kentro to do damage to the Kentro. Kentro, Kentro, blah, 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 blah. So, um, I think now's a good time to re-establish our friendship with the Kentro and try get it back. Now, now that I know that uh, it only takes a single Rex egg to tame it, or uh, befriend it, I don't think I really need to trap it. I mean, trapping it's a lot safer. But I think I should be fine, to be honest. Let's just chuck down a couple of these without faffing about the settings. Oh, you are getting close, aren't you? Oh, too close. And... Oh, dear. You're fleeing. That's a flea animation. Or is it? Yeah. How did you get on that rock? How are you doing that? You are not fleeing anymore. Damn it. One more torch. Does it remember that we're friends? Oh. I'm just gonna have to be a bit brave. Oh, I got triplets. And I forgot about the timer. Okay, waiting for it. There we go. You fell under the ground. You absolute wanker. That's disturbing. Wow, the server's lagging really bad, isn't it? Okay, is this gonna work? I'm really afraid that de-rendering it and it popping out of the trap has caused it to uh, be on a permanent flea cycle. It is attacking things. So maybe it'll just go instant. Okay, just really hoping nothing else takes my uh, baby Rex while I'm here. Go on, please detect me from really far away. Go on, Kutcher. I got a snack for you. Come on, friend. You, you want to eat a tasty alfacano? That'd be, like, very enriching, I think. Um, it should aggro, like, any moment now or get attention. Like, it really should once it's done with the RG. No, you're fleeing. It's bugged. Oh, no. It's definitely bugged. Oh, wait. You're coming back? Come on, friend. Eat the RG before it eats my Rex. Oh, it does sniff me. No. I wish I had my uh, hell. Oh, you're a 140, by the way. Hello. You sn you see me. Take it. No, you're just there. You twat. Oh, this is not what you want to see. This is not <laughs> what you want to see. Oh, you sniff. You smell. You like. Please, please don't be bugged. Please don't be bugged. Please don't be bugged. You're bugged. Oh, it was going so well until it bugged out the trap. Oh, wait, I dropped it. Now it's interesting. Wait, is it me? No. Was it coincidence? I think it was coincidence. Hold on. Try again. Come on, friend. Surely you're all... Yeah, there you go. Now you take it. I'm just going to leave it alone there for you. It's all yours. Please take it. Oh, it's turning. You want... Are we friends? Oh, yes! Oh my god, I'm so relieved. Let's go! And hopefully the Alvacano is uh, still on very low... Well, it's like half HP, which is surely enough. Yeah, there it is. Uh, not terribly close to the Kentra anymore. I cannot tell you how much of a relief that is. And the effectiveness... Uh, the effectiveness has gone down quite a bit. 85%. It's, it's not ideal, but it's really not bad either, to be honest. Let's just see if I can indeed... Oh, there's a Kentro right there. Hold on. That didn't do anything, I don't think. Am I doing damage to it? Am I doing damage to the Alpha Carno? 
13,000. You did definitely heal. You can't attack alphas. Oh, wild card. Why do you have to be smart? Damn it. <laughs> well, can't do it the old fashioned way, I suppose. Oh, oh, well, I found destruction. It's a dead on. Um, which could, in theory, reach me from here. But hopefully, because I'm technically on a wild dino, it doesn't want me. It seems quite distracted. Mmm. Oh, well, whatever I was on, it didn't just kill. It's on me. It's definitely on me. Oh, good God. Oh, wait. Wait, did it fall down? I think it fell down. It fell down. <sighs> that was about to have gone very ugly. Oh, this should be a good target. A Rex. I think I saw you earlier. You're level 100, aren't you? As long as I don't take damage. Oh, never mind. This should be nice and easy. There we go. Well, I got barely anything from that, but still, it's worth it. That's an Ovis. Well, it's a dead Ovis now, but wow. That should have given some uh, decent affinity. Ah, finally. Here's some tanky boy. It's a mammoth. This should give uh, much better. Ah, oh, well, I gave something. Okay, so I'm at about 76% so far. Just straight yellow doing it. I'm at 180 seconds so far, so about three minutes. I'm getting a bit worried so I'm very far away from where my trap or where my general location was. So I should probably turn back soon, but at the same time though, ooh, yeah, these mammoths are definitely doing better. Not great, it's definitely, so I thought I was prepared for this. I thought the baby rexes would be enough. Uh, I think it's total effective health, or maybe, maybe they're low level rexes, or maybe they're babies, so like you get a deficit. Because the devs obviously thought to uh, prevent these from attacking alphas, maybe they thought to prevent um, babies from counting as well, I'm not really sure. But either way though, either way, I thought I was prepared, I was not. That's okay, now I know. Um, definitely gonna have to get Diplos for this. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think Diplos really are the way to go. Yeah, okay, I'm already down to uh, two minutes. I lost a minute in that uh, one big thought process. So I think it is time to turn around and get this back into a safe, refriendable location. No! Yeah, I can't like that. Mm. That was really not good. Well, uh, I'm nowhere near my bird. And I'm in the middle of the Arctic at night. <laughs> that was, uh, that was not part of the plan. So if any of you are wondering what actually just happened then, um, yeah, like I said earlier, the character does buck you off after a while. Like, the higher level they are, the... Well, I don't know if it's more like it. I don't know how exactly it works. But yeah, when they're a high level, you can't just tame them. They will eventually get angry and buck you off. Thankfully, it didn't turn around and kill me, which I'm not sure if it's actually possible if you'll do that or not. Um, I'm just not experienced enough of these. But uh, yeah, I was kind of hoping that where we already had like 25-30% um, affinity preloaded, I was hoping that uh, it wouldn't, but <laughs> never mind. Wow, this game really did just turn into a horror game, didn't it? That's a Spino! Uh, hi? Oh, you're only level five. <clears throat> that mommy, I'm just gonna run right past you. It's fine. You know, it just occurred to me the fact that I've already been true on is an absolute um, miracle. <laughs> Here I am running in the forest at night and not a single trudel attack, which I'm very, very grateful of, but wow, that was really stupid. <laughs> that was unnecessary. Uh, no thanks, not today. Well, I'll be damned, I actually made it. There's my trap, which means my Argentavis is somewhere around there. And if I open the tame tracker, it should show the carcher. It does, 89% in the end. Fantastic. All right, there's my little Rexes hatched up. Let's grab you, claim you, grab you, put all these away, and make the way to the carcher. Oh God, there's an Alpha Rex? That's an Alpha Rex. All right then. Um, how did I not see that on the way here? That's amazing! Wow, okay. Lucky me. Okay, there's the Karcha on top of that little rocky outcropping there, looking absolutely majestic. Come tame me, come tame me, I feel like it's yelling. And wow, it is so dark even on Gamma 4. Let's go Gamma 5. Right. This should be a safe area to take out a, um, take out a Rex baby. There's a sheep right next to me. Oh my god, hello. Let's take you out. Let's just quickly uh, knife the poor thing down. I'm so sorry for those who care. Hello, please. 
Please, faster, faster, faster. How is this not working? How is this not working? Hold on. Uh, dino. There we go. That was weird. Are you... Why? Why do you... There you go. A little bit cursed. I could roar after a death, but whatever. Um, right. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. This is enough. Oh, you are so majestic looking. I'm going to drop you there. Go on, friend. Come get it. Please. Doesn't that look so cool? Really? Really? Oh. You... <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Go on. Yeah, you want it, don't you? Please, please count, please count, please count, please count. Yes. Oh, don't get near it when it eats things, though. 120 Karcher of 89% effectiveness. Or, um, affinity. You know what I mean. Eat the mammoth! Eat the mammoth! 91. Eat another mammoth. Oh, whole bunch of things here. 91.5. I'm not going to count every single one, don't worry. Okay, my character is 99.5 and actually starving, so I think that's the game's subtle way of telling me you took too long. But let's go ahead then and kill this lot right here. Preferably beauty. Yes! I have a Karcher and I don't have a saddle um, because I'm very, very smart. I. Oh! Though I'm not sure if this predator grows bigger than a Gigantosaurus, I hope to never find out. Okay, it's taking a bit of a while, but that's the first time I've actually heard her speak. It's, it's taking a while, but I'm. Sh oh, she's still going. <laughs> she's still going. <laughs> okay, well, there's the stats at least. Okay, so Helena really had a lot to say about the character. <laughs> um, that's cool, though. It's the first time actually hearing her voice, and I didn't realize you get the um, dossier note that way. It makes sense, actually, because you can't really get it in like, a, an explorer note anywhere else, I don't think. I finally have a Karcher! I'm so happy! And it's really not bad, honestly, like, 120 with 82% taming effectiveness. That's honestly okay if my, like, well, I say first try, my first successful try, right? I'm happy with that! But it does go to show, though, that for a Karcher, um, you can't- oh, bugger. You <laughs> can't, like, you can kind of yellow it, like, yeah, yellowing it does work, but, you know, it's definitely one of those things where preparation really makes a difference. Oh, I'm so happy. So I am running out of recording time because I have to go live stream in a moment. Therefore, I'll go ahead and put a recording of, you know, the character in action. But unfortunately, I can't really, like, just talk and do it right now. It's like, I kind of got a rush. But still, though, I'm, I'm really, really happy about that. I'm so excited. I'm excited to try it out. As, you know, you see me already trying it out. I'm really excited. And, oh, I finally have one. Now I understand it. Now I know what it's like. Great. They really are buggy. Or just very strange in the way that they kind of flee when you're holding it or etc. I'm glad to know that you can just drop it and run. That really, really did help. So thank you, Loki. And the trap, by the way, I think I got from Nooblets. I didn't use it right at all. So when I do a proper prepared taming attempt in the future, like to try to get a perfect tame character, uh, you can see the trap like actually done properly then. But either way, I'll leave a video to uh, Nooblets tutorial in the description down below. Right, I'm going to cut it here then. Uh, names of dinos. I'm in the process of breathing everything, so I'll do the names in the next episode. I've got a lot of really cool, awesome things to show you. I've been, I've been very, very busy breathing. So thank you all so much for watching. I really hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope perhaps you learned a couple of things, and as always, I'll see you all again next time. Cheers.